This video is on transversal lines. Any math topics you would like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. The angles that the transversal line creates are what we're going to cover in this video. When an angle is described as corresponding, it is looking at the intersection that the transversal line made on the two parallel lines. So if this is the first parallel line and this is the second one, we take a look where it intersects and they have corresponding angles. So for example, up here corresponds with the parallel line down here. So angle one and angle five are corresponding angles. Likewise, two and six are corresponding, three and seven are corresponding, and four and eight are corresponding angles. Alternate angles are on the opposite side of the transversal line, and they are also congruent. As you can see, one and four are alternate, and they are congruent with one another. Likewise, five and eight are alternate. They're on the opposite side and are congruent. Their size is the same. Two and three are alternate and congruent. Six and seven are also alternate and congruent. There are also angles on the same side that are congruent and they are called consecutive angles. As you can see, three and five are congruent and they're on the same side of the transversal line. Likewise, one and seven are congruent. Whereas alternate and consecutive are relative to the location on the transversal line, Exterior and interior are related to the two parallel lines. Here at the top, this would be considered exterior. Likewise, here at the bottom are exterior because they're outside of the parallel lines. Interior would be inside. Three, four, five, and six would be interior locations relative to the parallel lines. Lastly, I want to show you all the different angles for these two parallel lines that are traversed by this line. So your corresponding angles are 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 4, and eight. Your consecutive interior angles are three and five and four and six. Your consecutive exterior angles are one and seven, two and eight because they're on the outside of the parallel lines. Your alternate interior angles are three and six, four and five. Lastly, your alternate exterior angles are going to be one and eight, two and seven. So there you have it. Here is the list of all the different types of angles. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.